his head, and there he goes. Abyss gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. Penta kill. Priestly with the quad feet gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. Hello, everybody, and welcome to St. Clair College CSGO. Today, we got a matchup, a great, great matchup versus Rochester Institute of Technology. My name is The Prive, and I'm alongside Joseph or Spiral. How are we doing today, Joseph? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Uh, doing great, man. We got a great Super Bowl Sunday game here. Right before the uh, big game in the NFL, we got a great CSGO game against Rochester. So, you know, both teams, they are 2-1 and one going into this matchup. So both teams have very, very similar records as this league is played in Swiss style. So it's going to be really interesting to see who can pull away here and go 3-1 and one and start to, you know, get a winning record going. I agree with you 100%. It's going to be, it's going to be really exciting to see. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting good plays from both teams, honestly. It, it, it could be anyone's game, honestly. Yeah, so St. Clair has actually made a couple roster changes going into this one. You know, they do have the set four, and that will be Tyler, and that will be Moz, that will be Formal, and that will be Abyss. They will be the set four, and they have been switching out Bobby Sweat and Stefano. We were talking a little bit about this pregame before we got here on the live, and, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see. Uh, how have the changes can do, how they reflect, because I know last time I was casting with you, Joseph, we had Stefano in there instead of Bobby. So I'm going to be interested to see if that can make any difference, how Bobby performs, and if he can solidify his spot on the roster. Well, uh, with the last game I cast, it was a Mirage game last Sunday, and we did see Bobby, he didn't do that bad. He did get he did get a couple kills, he clutched a couple of rounds, he did pretty good. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they kept Bobby on the roster. However, I would like to see Stefano get a second chance, see if he can uh maybe make up for that overpass game 100 percent, and we do have chance or formal here and he actually did change his name out so he will be chance in this game so if you're looking for formal on the roster be known that it is not formal no more it will be chance with no way so it's going to be interesting to see here uh this matchup and I'm not 100% sure on the map. Maybe I can get word from uh, the voice in my ear. We will be playing on Inferno. Yes. So in Inferno will be the matchup today. And, you know, I, did you cast, was that the matchup last Sunday or was it Mirage? Uh, last Sunday was Mirage. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see them play on Inferno here and see what strats they can do. Um, you know, I, the CT on Inferno is so, so big. I know that Abyss is really good at playing that B-bomb site throughout Inferno CT side. And I'm going to be interested to see also on where they're positioned. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to send three people A and then two people on the B site, whether that on the CT side. And it's, it's all going to come down to those two people on the B site, getting those picks and lessening the blow for when the players from A have to rotate over and clean up B. I 100% agree with you that B, that B site hold is going to be extremely, like, it's good. You're going to need to do it. Because A site, you know, you got you have banana that comes by, you know, people go rush down there, whatnot. So if you're able to hold that, if those three people can hold that, B site is going to be completely clear. I hope I'm not mixing up the sites, but B site, as long as those two people can hold it, one person in apps, other person, I don't know if they're going to be watching mid or whatever, that hold is going to be crucial for them to win that game, no matter who's on CT side. Yeah, 100%. I completely agree. And, you know, the same thing goes vice versa, right? If St. Clair can easily break through that B site and shut down those players and then completely have control of site, forcing the boys over at Rochester to rotate over. And it's all, I think a lot of the pressure is going to be towards the B site here going into this Inferno matchup. I mean, it typically is considering that it's just much easier to break. You can go through banana. You can throw out the, you can throw out the util. You can do whatever it may be and need to break that one out mm -hmm. 100 percent. like you said that utility is going to be extremely important especially smoking off ct when you're going to that site it, it, it's going to be crucial and hopefully whoever is the most accurate is able to well take out a lot of people there's always that one spot whenever i play it screws me up entirely i believe it's near old where coffin used to be i think it's still called coffin yep. and they're watching it dude that sniper spot it, it sucks to deal with so hopefully someone will be able to either smoke them out molly them out or take them out yeah 100 percent. i know you sometimes see players with like their ak's or whatever it may be on the t side they completely swing coffin and if you're predicting that player there you can pop that in the head 
And, you know, if you can get that kill nice and quickly and you can close them out there, that is a very, very big kill to, you know, at least get a good opening on that B site. And taking up that coffin player, he's the first line of defense typically for that B push, unless you have somebody push up on car. But if you are on the T side, I think you will be seeing a lot of smokes or mollies, whether that be on car, making sure that nobody can get that PowerPoint position and shut them down and banana. But it's going to be really interesting to see. And, you know, I actually... I did hear Tyler say he was actually going to drop a 30 in this game. So <laughs> I think that's a lot of Tyler, but uh, I'm going to be interested to see if he can actually turn up his gameplay, not be so nervous going into this one and actually clean up some kills and do a little bit more pushing on the aggressive side of things here for St. Clair. No, I agree with you 100%. I'm really excited to see. <laughs> it seems like your camera's having some issues. I there. know, I know. It always does. Always is. But uh, I'm really excited to see if Tyler can drop that 30 bomb. Honestly, I'll be excited for him. That's that's going to be awesome. I'm I'm hoping for a really good game for St. Clair. I'm hoping that it's going to be not so much of a one-sided game. I'm kind of hoping for a, like a good matchup. You never like to see those one-sided where it's like it, it it looks like it's easy for the one team. You always like to see that that competitiveness. That I don't know the word for it exactly, but you, you always like you you like to see not one-sided games. Like there it's going either way. That's going to be. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, and the one big thing I think you see here in the Swiss uh, style of bracket is that you do see a lot of those even matchups. You see less blowouts, right? You see um, teams with the same record going at each other. So I do think we will see a little bit of a closer game here. But uh, Rochester is slightly ahead in the standings, I think, due to round differentials. So that's going to be interesting to see if we do see a little bit of an advantage here for Rochester going into this one nonetheless. But before we get into this game, before we get completely loaded up, get started underway, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors as it would not be possible without them. So quick shout out to the St. Clair College Alumni Association, PC Outlet, the Zeckelman School of Business and Information Technology, St. Clair College, Tim Hortons, and the St. Clair SRC. Definitely would not be possible without them. So we really do appreciate all their support. 100%. It, like, like you said, it wouldn't be possible without them. So your sponsorship is greatly appreciated. Yeah, and we are in the knife round now, so we should be switching over to the game here any second. We're going to see who's starting on the CT or T side of things. And St. Clair actually going to win the knife round. It looks like they'll be going CT to start, I believe. Oh, that that's that's oh no, there are on CT side. It seems like which I've always seen. I've always seen CT. I mean, Saint Clair does a lot better on CT than they do on T side, at least from what I've seen. So it's it's. It, I'm hoping that they're going to be able to get this pistol round because once, like you've said this in previous games, that pistol round is super crucial to get. Like if you get that, that that's you're you're almost guaranteed a second round. Yeah, I, I completely agree. And that pistol round, you know, you, we say you're almost guaranteed that second round, but it's not always the case. But Chance going to open things up with a nice little tap on a legit. And that is a huge pick from him to open things up, turning things to a 5v4, especially on the CT side of things. So a lot of pressure actually from IRIT towards the A site, but that's going to be a bit here. Playing the B like we were talking about in pregame, and he's going to open things up too. Now a 5v3. Great start. Uniform love. He's going to get tagged down now, and that's going to be Sergeant finding one. There's 3v3. Another pick goes down, and now just like that, the matches is even. Abyss is on the rotation. That nade's going to go out, and that will find a kill. Maxi also 6 HP. Tough, tough round here for RIT. St. Clair looking to close this one out, but Abyss is going to get cleaned up. Maw is there for the trade. Now all on the Sergeant, and they know he's down their pit. Maw is going to clean him up and get the defuse. Great round from St. Clair to open this one up, and they only have 20 health remaining after that round one. That was a, that was an awesome round, honestly. That was that was a pretty good pistol round, I will admit. You saw those cut those awesome picks. One from Chance, one from the person on B site. That like that was that that was a great round. Uh, now you're gonna see them gonna they're gonna start buying Moss with that from Moss. Everyone else seemed to be with those SMGs except for Chance, who's gonna stick with his. Oh, there we go. He does have an SMG now. So um, SMGs, the, you know, they're usually not used that much in competitive play as like from what I've seen, except for that secondary round. I'm hoping that they're going to be able to get a lot of kills with this. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see here, but the force is out for RIT Black. So, you know, St. Clair will actually have some competition on the second round, but if they can close out this one, like we were talking about, they should be able to advance to 3-0, and uh, start to start off this game. So it's all going to be big first round, but Moz, he's actually going to fall right away to Spike. Spike only at 4 HP now, though. So St. Clair at a big disadvantage to start as you're going to see a player rotate over and play that B site now. 
because they, they want to split up the site. But nobody is B. You're going to see Abyss, I think, clearing out through Banana, and nobody's home. So you should see one of these players from B rotate over, or they're both actually going to push through Banana and try to get a good flank going. But here is the push from RIT. Abyss in a premium position of find two. Unicorn love there for the help. Completely turning things around. 4v3. Chance finds one as well. Legit going to get a trade. 3v2 in favor of St. Clair. 2v2. One kill down there. Now Chance going to find another. All on Maxicat. 1v2. Abyss and Chance are nice and lit. Abyss looking to try to find something. He's up on the boost. He will fall. Maxicat tagged down to 86. Now all on a Chance and Maxicat in this 1v1. Chance in good position here to come around and clean him up. That was that was a great round. On I, all I'm seeing is good rounds today. I'm gonna to be honest with you. This this game, sorry, that push for that behind push that uh I don't know what do you want to call it rotate or whatever. They that was crucial for that round. They were able to get them all out. That that basic that definitely won them the round. If they wouldn't have done that, the RT, RIT would have been able to get site, plant the bomb, and probably hold it better than they would have been able to take it. That was a yeah, great so round. Here is the light buy now from RIT Black. They're going to be affording the deals. And, you know, Maxi Cat, he isn't going to buy anything. He's going to keep his 2300. He's going to just buy a little bit of util there. But, uh, yeah, not a whole lot here from RIT. This should be another round in favor of St. Clair. A little bit messed up nade there from Unicorn. But, yeah, here's the banana push with their pistols. They're just going to try to come in here and find a few picks. If they can shut down some of St. Clair's eco just a, a little bit. That's what RIT's main goal is here in this round to help them win the next round. There is going to be one player messing with all the Sinclair boys in the A app side of things, keeping them at the A site so all of them don't rotate over to B. But the util is out now, and the pushes are going to go down. Unicorn Love, he's going to find tags right off the hop of things and clean a player up. That's going to be the player at A down. Now you should see some of these players rotating on to B. Moz is going to find one. He's going to find the planter. Moz, Moz with a, Yeah, Moz with a 4K that round finds them all. And that is exactly what you need from St. Clair. No player did die that round. So that should at least boost their eco. Ma should have a good amount of money throughout all that. And now that is a really, really good round from St. Clair. And here we go. We're going into it now. RIT Black, they will have a buy this round. That, that was... That was a pretty good play by Moz. He knew where the guy was in the smoke when he was playing the bomb. He was able to take out the other three that were trying to push him. That, that was great. That, that was well played by him, honestly. Like, it, I, can't, I can't say anything else. That was just... That was awesome. Seems like Bobby here is going to be chucking a grenade. Ooh, did not get any damage with it, however. It looks like they're going to try to go B-side through Banana with uh, two people trying to distract A this time. Actually, no, Bomb is deciding to go B at this point. This should, that flash should signal uh, St. Clair to get a rotate. Nope, maybe not. I don't know. No, this, this, they this. want to keep these players A just in case RIT does decide to come back. They haven't actually made their way out of Banana yet. So the util is going to go for RIT, and now you should see some rotates over from that player in Arches. He should be rotating over and coming to the site. Moz is going to be the opening one to find a pick. Unable to clean up Maxi Cat though. He's going to fall. Now a 4v5. Abyss left alone on the site. He's going to fall off, play his life until the reinforcements are there. He tries to find some stuff through the smoke here. He could find something soon. Doesn't want to take a risk. They don't really know he's there yet. But if he shoots, I mean, he could really find something through that smoke. I really do believe that he should have at least took some firing shots and tried to get something going there. But it's going to be a really, really hard retake from St. Clair here in the 4v5 with a little bit less of a weaponry advantage. 100%. Oh, there we go. Legit taking out Abyss. Unicorn able to... Well, that was a lot of things happening at once. Uh, down to a 1v2. Both people not on bomb. Chance having this opportunity to go for the defuse. He seems like he's going to go for the kills instead. Being able to take them out. Not able to take them out, sorry. And then running away, trying not to just save... Just trying to save that AK. That was a lot of things that just happened at once. But honestly, Chance, you, he, play, he played what he could. He did what he could. Uh, it's not like they don't have the money to save that round. So they... Chance is going to have that 800. Buying for Moz and... That is the first round for RIT. Yeah, so big thing to point out there is, you know, Chance, he really did not have an option to go in there. Yes, he could have played for the kills and tried to take them out, but that really just was not in his favor. The bomb was planted for those two players. All they had to do is sit back and wait for him to hop that defuse, take him off of it. That, that's literally all they had to do. So Chance, smart decision there. He wants the AK. A lot of player, players prefer the AK over the M4. So when they get the chance to go and grab one on the T side and save it, they will do so. So Chance going to save the AK there, hoping to help him out a little bit in this round. Tyler, he's going to force buy it too. 100%. Uh, no, I, I, I agree with you. It looks like Bomb is going to go B again. They're going to try to take this site, possibly. Seems like they're playing it slow, which isn't... 
Ooh, there we go. Abyss gonna be able to take out Spike there. That is that is gonna be that's gonna be crucial. That's four v five now. Bomb is kind of stuck with only one player on B site. Wondering if they're gonna rotate now that they lost their player. Seems like they still have two people A. Haven't done anything yet to cause a distraction. But yet Bomb is starting to go back towards mid. This is this is this is a slow round indeed. They're they're taking their time. They're taking these forty five seconds they have, and they're just trying to roll with it, seeing what they can do. Which it doesn't seem like St. Clair is able to, is taking very well. I, I don't know. Yeah, but 5v4 here, nonetheless, St. Clair in a pretty good position here to shut them down. They still have a lot of A control, and it looks like RIT is going to continue to actually put pressure on A. I don't know how I feel about this, but Unicorn, he's going to get some tags through the smoke nonetheless. He's going to fall back, get behind the wall. Good picks there to at least open things up a little bit. The flash is out, and, it, and this should be good for Tyler. He cleans one up there. He cleans two up. Chance finds one. Tyler in premium position there. They did not even check the top valve there. He's going to grab an AK as well now. And there's a lot of AKs on the side of St. Clair now. They are looking good through this one. Tyler gets on the board with three kills that round. And, you know, four to one for St. Clair now. And this is... It's putting RIT in a position where they have to force. I'm not very supportive of RIT forcing this one. I really do believe they should have saved. Um, considering, I don't think they're on really the same page either, you know? You see everybody else, they save at least 1,300, 1,400. And then there's uh, W Tanner B. He's actually going to buy full. Not very supportive of that. Cause and Abyss, they're going to clean things up right away. But just like that, the answers are back. 3v3 now, and they do have weapons. MAC-10, AK, M4. Tough for Sinclair. Moz and Abyss really should not have got that aggressive there that round. I don't think they were expecting a force, but that is a huge kill from Chance now to open things up. He should not be expecting this player here. He's going to get cleaned up 2v2. These players on RIT, very, very weak. The Molly's out, slowing down the church push. Tyler, he's going to push his way through here, try to find something. He does not know a player is new box. So he's going to get cleaned up from that player new box. All on a unicorn. He's going to make his advance through now. The player new box, a player in water. Going to be all up to Unicorn. He has a lot to do. Players are on each side of him. They know where he is. And he should not, like, I, he really should not be able to clean this one up. But he will find one. He knows the other player's back here. He spots him. Gets a tag. Not enough time. He's playing this way, way too slow. He's going to get the kill nonetheless. But will fall shortly after. 4-2 RIT. Great force by round. It was it was a good force by round. Honestly, I was I was agreeing with you in the beginning. I did not think that they should have did that. They probably should have... Yeah, I was thinking they probably should have saved, but it worked out well in the end. They were able to get those two picks on B site, and they were able to take the site for themselves. So, on honestly, it's it's kind of it's a little bit surprising, but it worked out for them in the end. So, good good job on RIT, honestly, putting their second round up on the board. Yeah, honestly, and I really do think the killer for Saint Clair. Oh wow, that's a dirty pick on a unicorn there. <laughs> but I really do think the killer for that round was Abyss and Moz getting too aggressive in Banana thinking they were on a save, trying to rack up their kill count and get these kills out quickly. And, you know, if they played back a little bit, I really do think they could have had that round rather than getting so aggressive on it. But nonetheless, still a 4-2 game. Sinclair's still on the upper hand here. But now a 4v5 in this round, they're going to have a tall task to deal with. No, 100%. I agree with you. But, like, in, yeah, instantly it's a 4v5. They were able to get that, that, that pretty nasty pick down mid. Just one one singular shot is gone. That that that's what that's what the AK does. I mean, it it can ruin your round at an instant. So you just got you just got to be careful on that. That was that was a well placed shot though. Uh, it seems like the bomb is once again going to be going B. They're not doing the A distract this time. So I, I'm I'm curious to see why they're keeping three A still and. Maybe they're just going to give them give B site. Uh, well, they haven't thrown the util yet, so that's why they're deciding to these players A. Abyss was boosted above the smoke. That was what he wanted to do, but he's actually going to fall off now. He should fire through the smoke, and that's a great shot to connect on two players. Abyss goes absolutely huge on the site. Will he be able to find the bomb picker? He's finishing some shots, unable to connect on those. And that, that is a great opening pick from them, turning things from a four from a 4v5 now to a 3v3 as Moz will fall. Chance gonna come through here, not be able to find a player in dark. Tyler gonna find one. Tyler gonna help with Abyss find that last one. They know where the last player is. Abyss, 1v1 versus Sergeant. He's gonna smoke it off and go for the defuse, possibly. I don't know if I'm supportive of this. He does not have a kit, and it's not too difficult for Sergeant to connect with their shots. Well, it seems like it's difficult for him right now. He's not able to connect. Ooh, just got it. If he would have had that kit, Abyss would have been able to get that. Would have been able to get that, but sadly he didn't, and that would that is what costed them the round. See, you never know when you're gonna need to buy a kit. Sometimes you're just like, yeah, I'll save the money. Other times you're like, no, I have the money, I'll buy it. That was a time where that kit would have definitely saved them. 
Here's a save round from St. Clair as they definitely have been getting a lot of pressure put under their eco now. So not a whole lot they can do eco-wise. Good, smart save from them. No point in forcing. They're all going to fly down mid. I know this is a Maz play. Maz putting them all flying down mid, but they will get quickly cleaned up. Now Chance, the last player alive, playing back, hoping for a pick down A. And he's going to make his advance down mid. Now getting a tag on legit. Not a whole lot more than that, though. And that is a clean sweep on the boys over at St. Clair. They couldn't really find a kill there on that eco round. That was that was a curious round. I mean, you, you, we've definitely seen it work on Mirage. We've seen it work on Overpass. But I, I guess this team, the 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 team at RIT Black, they they know they know how to counter that. They know that just just fire, honestly. So that was that was it was a good it was a good try. But hopefully that they know they probably shouldn't do that in the future because that that didn't work for them very well. Yeah, I agree completely. Now the full buy is in from each side. And this is what's going to be interesting to see. St. Clair really going to have to shut them down here just so they don't have to get put onto another eco round. They really can't afford that. You know, they started off this game 3-0 and now they're completely just throwing that out the window, especially if they lose this buy round. So they're going to have to tighten up their defense a little bit. And, you know, it, it's all down to the B pressure now, like we were talking about. The Maws and Abyss players, they're the ones to watch as if they're going to try to shut down here. Uh, of course, like it... I, I don't know. This... It's very curious, honestly. The the way this Inferno game plays, I mean, then again, I'm silver, but in my game in my games it never goes this way. This is a very slow game. RIT knows it seems like they know how to counter St. Clair. It seems like that these slow these slow plays are working very well for them, so it's it's working it's they're just going to keep going for it until St. Clair knows a way to sort of counter it. I, I don't know how to I don't know how else to say it. It seems like that bomb is going to be going A yeah, A A though at this point going to try to keep two players to watch for the rotates behind them. Chance going to be able to take out Sergeant Tyler. I, That's do, gonna be... Sorry, I do think that they should grab this bomb and fall off to B, but it looks like the boys from RT are actually going to grab the bomb and fall off to A. So it's going to be interesting to see. And now they're going to get some shots down on Tyler down there in pit. Legit versus Tyler. Tyler going to get cleaned up. Now he's 4v4. Oh, there we go. Uh, Unicorn or Bobby taking out legit with Maxi Cat taking out Chance. Unicorn, the only one on the site right now, has to try to defend it from two people. Taking out Spike here. Gonna have Maxi Cat coming out and taking out U Unicorn. Abyss on site, taking out by Maxi Cat again. All we have left is Maz. Wondering if he's gonna try to go for the save or try to take it out. The smart thing, in my opinion, would have been try to go for the save and just grab an AK and run. Yeah, Maz here. Now, he's actually going to go for this one. There is a player in pit, and there's a player dark corner. So, he's going to have a lot to deal with. He knows a player is down there now. And Maz is going to make his advance for dark, and will get cleaned up for Max Cat. That's going to be another round for RIT. And now, Sinclair, they're going to be forced on a save here, or a light buy. Just buy some deagles, or whatever it may be. Some light util. But nonetheless here, St. Clair, they're looking to struggle here now on the CT side of things after they open this one up 3-0. And one thing I really do want to point out is we have not seen an op throughout this game yet, and we are on round 10. Usually you see a little bit of an op coming out sooner than that, but, you know, not a whole lot of teams can afford it right now. Uh, it's speak of the devil and he shall appear. Oh, uh, Sergeant, yeah, Sergeant, there he goes. He does actually get the op. Let's see if they can use that beneficially. But now that is some easy picks down for RIT, all left on chance once again. He's going to try to find something. He falls out. Can't find anything through the long distance kill there. And they know where he is. They're going to get this bomb planted up B. Get the extra eco for RIT. Just so they can uh, stack that up. And, you know, for now, really looking good if you're RIT. St. Clair, they're kind of hit a wall. Of course, 100%. It seemed like they tried to go for that push play again. And we saw that a couple rounds ago that didn't work out too well. Maybe they thought they could catch him off guard. We'll try it again. Didn't seem like it worked. It, it, seemed, like it's, it didn't seem like it worked too well. Uh sergeant gonna be able to watch ct it looks like chance is just gonna save honestly it doesn't look like he's going for any kills he knows that his plan planted b but he's just gonna stick around the a site so i wonder if he's just trying to go for the max and frags and picks oh he ran out water uh w tanner is gonna be able to take him out yeah that's gonna be the another round there on the board for rit now this is gonna be a real crucial round for st Clair, right you know you're down two rounds now you're on a buy if you lose this round you will be forced onto another save and chance with the op. That could be a huge difference maker. Of course, we've we've definitely seen we we've seen chance with the op a couple times before. He has been able to get a couple picks with this, but we just don't know how good Sergeant Tyler is yet. So me, it's basically it's probably going to be like a one on one on the, with these ops if they're positioned correctly. So uh, I don't know. It, it it all depends on how good Sergeant Tyler is with this op and if uh, if Chance can do anything with it.
That, that could be the thing that changes the round over. Tyler, is he going to get aggressive through here? Yes, he is. Legit going to shut him down. 4v5 right off the hop. This is quite scary if you're St. Clair. Unicorn going to get tagged as well. He's going to be forced to fall off his position, playing his life now. Sergeant Ty, he's going to have the op in hand, just continuing to watch through mid, trying to find something. No one going to peek that. And now it looks like this bomb is going to go down banana. You're going to see all these players go push. They're going to throw some util out here soon. And they're going to have to answer to Abyss and Moz. That's going to be the big difference maker here. Formal trying to watch something throughout the A site. But he's going to ultimately fall off and rotate to B here soon. Hopefully he can find something CT. Util is out. And now you should see Formal rotate over as he is now rotating right away. Let's see what he think these players can do. Util out. Abyss shooting a little too early. Moz who spots them all. Going to get cleaned up from Tanner. Abyss, he's going to rotate around church like usual. Chance going to follow him up. Try to find something with the off. He's going to get some tags on the bomb. Unicorn going to try to pick it well. Sorry, you cut out there for a second. I tried to I tried to pick up. Chance being able to take out legit with that op. That 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 could help them, but they still do have two people on the site. I'm This isn't looking very good for St. Clair. They're you, they're smoked off. There's people on the site. Wonder if Chance is going to be able to get this pick. Ooh, he got baited out. Nope. Maxi Cat able to take out Abyss. Unicorn going to come out. Seeing Spike. Spike is just kind of toying with them right now. Making it so they're stuck on the site. If Unicorn doesn't run, there we go. Chance going to try to save that op. Missing the save. And that's going to be another round for RIT. Yeah. RIT continuing to stack them up. And St. Clair don't have a whole lot of eco to work with. Once again, it's been the story of the day since they've been... Uh, Losing these rounds. I think that's six in a row now for RIT. They're going to continue to string some rounds together. Carry on with the momentum. Maxi Cat going to be the player that's really just putting a lot of the pressure onto St. Clair right now. 14 and 8 in this game. He's been doing it all for RIT. RIT looking to advance to 8 and 4 here after uh, the light buy is out for St. Clair. And not a whole lot of weaponry to work with. Honestly, yeah, you're right. Not a lot of weaponry. You, you, They really... They had to win that force buy to make it to possibly win that half. Water V taking out Chance and Spike taking out Abyss. Spike also taking out Moz. That's B site easy for them. Like there, there's that. That's it. They basically have B site now. Spike able to take out Unicorn and that. Yeah, it's a it's a four v one. Honestly, RIT seems to be dominating this T side. Saint Clair had those couple rounds, but after that, they've kind of just lost momentum and they're stuck in a rut. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Tyler going to be the player left, and he's going to decide to save. He has the AK in hand there. And, you know, you can't really buy that on the CT side. So he's going to try to save here, go to apps, and, uh, you know, just, sorry, go to T apps. And he's just going to try to keep that, uh, maybe get an exit frag or something. There is a player creeping up on him. That will be Tanner. So it's going to be interesting to see if uh, Tyler can find an exit here, but I do not believe he will. And RIT looking to take this one up to 8-4, and that guarantees them the half win, especially on the T side. St. Clair not in a great position here. Of course, they're really not in a great position. It's, I don't know, I don't know what to say. They, they've seemed like they've lost some momentum, and as we've said before, St. Clair, St. Clair, once they get their momentum up, it's really hard to stop them. So it seems like RIT, they stopped them, they stopped when their momentum was just about to get there. Ooh, oh, that was close. That was super close. But RIT just just stopped them before the momentum got too high, and there's nothing much they can do now. They are going to be buying at this point. Chance with that op again. Hopefully, he'll be able to make something out of it at this point. Unicorn going to be keeping with going to going to be keeping that aug, so buying another one, and Tyler keeping the AK. This is going to be an interesting round. Yeah, I agree. And you know, here we go now. Saint Clair with the buy. We've been saying it every time they buy, it's so, so crucial for them to get a buy round win. And this is really the one they need. They cannot afford for RIT to potentially put this game up to 10-4, maybe even 11-4 going into half. They really need to shut down the momentum now from RIT. And it's so, so crucial here. They just can't really get anything going for the CT side of things. Abyss and Maw is going to continue to have to deal with a lot of pressure here on this B site. Right, a lot of pressure, you're right. Chance just missing that, that shot for the op. It seems like that they're trying to bait out his shot so they can push him, knowing that he has that op. This is this is going to be interesting. Bomb is seeming like they're going to be going A, though. It seems like that uh, RIT is going to be trying to force out a rotate, but it's just not working out too well. Ooh, Chance, Almost. He, yeah, if he just shot that a little bit earlier, he would have actually found that kill and connected on him. All these players are doing right now from RIT is hoping to keep the St. Clair boys there and hoping to make sure they not rotate. And it's working out well. Now a 3v4, 3v5 on the site, but Tyler and Unicorn are going to shut them down right away. 
great start from them. Unicorn may be able to find another. Yes, he does. Great plays from Bobby Throws it from the start off. 5v2, though. Unicorn gonna fall. Tyler in pit. Will he be able to find Max Cat here? And he's through the smoke. Unable to do so. As Sergeant with a no scope jump shot on Tyler. Big, big pick from him. Now, Chance and Abyss on the rotation. Just having to take out this bomb planter. Max Cat gonna get the bomb down as there's only 10 seconds remaining on the clock. He's stuck here in this position. They know where he is. They spotted him. And they will take out a right away. All on chance with the op. Gonna be a tough play. And he will clean it up. Chance goes absolutely huge for St. Clair. Getting a 2k. Unicorn finding two as well. St. Clair shutting down the momentum of RIT Black. And now hopefully they can string some rounds together and take this to an 8 to 7 half. I really hope it's an 8 to 7 half. But honestly, that they they almost lost that. That was that was extreme. That was too close. Uh, if Chance wouldn't have been able to get that hit, they they would have lost it entirely. It seems like what RIT strat is here is to force St. Clair to use their utility, and then once they once they run out, then they can use theirs to counter and just go for it. Which on it, like it's clearly been working previously. So like there's there's nothing else to say really. They they're just doing their RIT is able to kind of outplay St. Clair at this time. Yeah, and I, I completely agree with you there. And, you know, RIT has enough money to buy for the rest of the half. They have no worries for money-wise. So it's all just going to be coming down to round wins for them. And even then, St. Clair not even having a whole lot of util to work with here. Chance, if he swings out, he actually could find something here. And he does. He spots a player. But he gets a little too hesitant there. He to fall back, not connect on the shots. And now, the players from RIT. That's going to be Abyss opening things up. But only 12 HP remaining. He's going to fall back on a new box. Tanner and there's going to be another player in apps. It's going to be Tanner and Legit. They're going to be up there holding down that A site and at least putting pressure on St. Clair so they cannot rotate off. And Sergeant, he's just going to be waiting for that push from Chance. Decides not to. Chance is just to play safe here and wait for the push. Chance doing exactly what needed to do. And RIT really can't make a, an advance on the map. It looks like the other players are going to rotate over and push through Banana here now. But St. Clair, Chance is in perfect positioning to at least find one more. No, 100%. It looks like they are going to be trying to commit to this B site now using their utility. This, this is when, this is usually when we see RIT kind of start dominating. Chance with that firebomb. Hopefully that that is able to stop them. Ooh, Chance getting that pick on legit. Going to be able to run back. Uh, Tanner taking out Abyss. This almost guarantees them the bomb site. All they have to do is get Chance here. And they, they are, they are going to have bomb plant. Moz is smoked off at the time. All the... Yeah, 4v3 here. Chance still has the up in hand. All the players have rooted over. Chance maybe we'll find something. Not able to. Maxi will clean him up, but Unicorn there getting a trade down, finding Tanner. Oz, he's actually going to get shut down from that op. Or this op is just going to, his job is just to sit there and wait for them to hop that bomb site, exactly like shown. So now they're going to try to clean up someone. Oh my god, Unicorn not able to connect on that player. He will find the op. Or Tyler going to have to get aggressive. This other player is just going to fall off. He's going to decide to stick up with Maxi. He's going to get close. Oh my god, Tyler. He should have stuck that one. He would have had it. I he don't did. think he has time. No, he, have no time. he does not. He's going to run away. And I think the bomb will kill him. Yes, it will. Unfortunate round for St. Clair. If Tyler stuck it first round around, he would have had that. I, I don't think Maxi was going to peek it. 100%. The... He knew that he faked, so he just waited. That that was very close from Tyler. All he had to do was hold it, and that, that's that's basically it. Now we're on the match point. Everyone having to force buy. Well, everyone on the St. Clair side is going to have to force buy here. This is going to be their last amount, their last ditch effort to possibly get around on the CT half. The, it seems like Moz is going to be going for the push here. Legit, definitely not expecting it. Running, grabbing that AK, and maybe you're trying to push around through T spawn. It seems like RIT has left the bomb in T-Spawn as well, so they really, if Tyler's able to figure that out, oh no, not Tyler, sorry. Moz, Moz, Moz is yeah. going to be hunting for that player, and Sergeant, he's going to fall back. I think Moz knows he's back here. He can definitely hear him. So Moz is going to be ready to deal with this. He's waiting for it. He knows he's here, and Sergeant, he predicts Moz going to clean him up, turning things around to a 44. Moz has got to be upset about that one. And now, the, here is more pressure. Tanner, he's getting ran onto by Unicorn Love. Unicorn Love gonna get shut down. Now a 3v4 in favor of the boys at RIT. But Abyss gonna have a lot to deal with here. He will find one. He almost should have found that second there. Unable to do so. Chance gonna push out. Gonna clean up the kill that Abyss should have had. Now a 3v2. And the other boys are rotating to 8. It's gonna be all on to Tyler. Tyler gonna have a lot to deal with here. The op is searching for him. But here we go, Tyler. Here is his chance to prove himself. He is going to be coming around from the other side, waiting for the rotation and playing his life, waiting to uh, push this with a 3v2. A little bit of a health advantage here in RIT, though, as Abyss and Chance are so, so lit. 
Tyler, he's going to be the main man to watch throughout this play. He's going to be mollied off, though, slowing down his push. As soon as this molly clears, I could expect to see a push from him. Oh, of course, this is this. This went so south so fast. They, if they, uh, sorry, if Mo oh, Tyler, Tyler being able to take out by Tanner there. Sergeant, Ty Sergeant being taking out Abyss there. And it seems like it's all up to chance with that MP9. Wondering, he seems like he's going to be trying to rotate around, knowing that that op's going to be washing, but he has to go. He has to run. If he doesn't make it there on time, he's not going to get this confused. Chance almost getting, almost getting Tanner's, almost, ooh, almost, oh, I didn't get it. Tanner being able to take out Chance with that Tech 9, and that is going to be a 10-5 half in favor, favor of RIT. Yeah, it, so, so tough there if you're Sinclair. That was a big round. A 9-6 to six half is a hell of a lot different than 10-5. to five. So, for the boys over at St. Clair... To be down five rounds going into the T side just is really not looking good for them. They really need to open it up and find these first three rounds. They need to win a pistol round. And RIT most likely going to force by if, if St. Clair wins a pistol round. They need to win that force by against RIT. And then they need to win that third round following after on the eco. And now it at least brings to 10-8, but you're still down two rounds after that if that happens. Of course, we just have to see how well RIT does on T side. But we have seen that St. Clair loves their pushes, so hope hopefully they're able to take it out on T side. Moz being able to take out Spike there on Banana, that is going to guarantee them an easy path to B site until they get up to the CT area, that is with Tanner and legit watching, trying to take out Moz, not getting any. A unicorn able to take out Tanner, that is gonna guarantee them B site, except for the guy who's in the church area. Legit taking out Abyss, but they are able to get that bomb plant down. All they have to do now is just hold this site, which, like I like I said, St. Clair love their pushes, so that, and they've probably definitely practiced them, so the, the, these pushes that they love to do is definitely going to help. Maxi Cat able to take out Ta Tyler and going to be able to take out Moz. Unicorn stuck in a corner. All that's left is legit to take him out, and that's going to be another round for RIT. If you're a St. Clair, you're, you got to be upset about that one. You're you're a 4v3. You have control of sight. Everything is going in your favor for this round. You know, you, you're set up perfectly for it, and RIT can just somehow come through there and retake. Just not looking good from the side of St. Clair. They really are going to need to do a little bit more here in this game if they want to close this one out. And now look at it. They're forced on the save round where RIT can buy. And this is almost another guaranteed round for RIT. Of course. But then again, remember, we've seen this. We, we saw this exact play, but switched around a little while ago. And RIT was able to take it with this force buy. So hopefully St. Clair can do the exact same thing. This is going to, this is going to be quite interesting. Chance 8 just getting a little bit of damage off from that molly. And it seems like they are going to be trying to slow push that banana. I mean, banana. Hopefully, that's going to be able to well, guarantee them B site. It's not certain. Moz was able to spot Tanner there, taking him out, but getting dinked in the process. Once again, as we said in that previous round, there, as we said in the uh, the pre-show, there is a guy in coffin that's going to be definitely hard to deal with. As like I said, Spike able to take out two. Chance taking out Spike in the end. Hopefully, going to be able to get that bomb down. It is in the fountain at the moment. If you're staying clear, you have to win this though. You have sight control. Yes. You have a little bit of health advantage, but Sergeant, he's going to just shut down Chance there. You cannot be letting this happen. You really just got to wait and play for the picks. Unicorn, he's going to be the main man to watch here as he's going to be stopping the church push, but he spots two. I don't agree with him re that, but he's going to find one there on. That's going to be Sergeant. Max Gat can get the trade, though, all on Tyler for HP. He has a lot to do here. He does. He, he has very little HP and legit being able to take him out with just one bullet. That's that's going to be in the, the round for RIT. And honestly, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if St. Clair's more morale is just down. Like they, I've seen bigger comebacks than this before, but it's it, it's it's unlikely at this point. It seems like RIT just always knows where St. Clair's going to be. They've kind of gotten into their heads. They know how they're going to play, and they're able to outplay them every single time. Yeah. Well, five here now. Tough, tough go for the boys over at St. Clair. And they really just don't have an answer for these RIT boys. At least they can afford these Mac 10s here. But Abyss, he's going to be the man full buy. I'm not sure if the communication is rough there or something. But Abyss, he's actually going to buy down full. And that is so much util damage for RIT to shut down the banana push. The Mac 10 banana rush, though, Spike going to be there to answer for it. The Molly's out. Their whole Mac 10 banana push is just completely getting shut down right now from RIT. And, you know, it's so unfortunate as Spike is, continues to try to do more work, but Chance here at the trade. 44, Unicorn falls out to Tanner right after Tyler as well. Now a 2v4, Mac 10's in hand. You really can't do a whole lot here, and I think Abyss almost has to save. Just considering that he bought full, 
um you don't really have a whole lot of eco with if you're abyss right like everybody else on the team they did save at least 1600 at least or something along those lines where abyss not a whole lot to work with and they're just gonna be playing for some exits here of course once that bomb got down and tanner was able to see it he told his buddies hey come over we have bomb and that oh that is that's rough for chance that's rough for chance legit being able to take him out with the famas almost easily with abyss is left to tanner taking him out as well that's if That's you're rough. if you're abyss there, I don't agree with challenging that. Uh, you know, you you get you have so little eco compared to the rest of your team. Yes, chance does have so much eco, so I'd expect chance to buy abyss. That, that's really what I'm expecting here. But yeah, chance is gonna buy abyss. That's what I figured, right? But even then, it really screws your eco. Now you could have at least saved a, a couple thousand dollars there, keeping the Mac Ten in hand. But I guess he was just going for an exit, unable to complete and do so. Now a 5v5, all AKs in hand. St. Clair really going to have to string some rounds together here. Honestly, like they haven't, they haven't gotten around all half. This is, this has been very, this has been a, a very poor for St. Clair at this point. Legit being able to take out Maz there. Abyss trying to see where he is, seeing if he can get that pick. He is able to get it, but Sergeant coming up behind him through the smoke, taking him out. A 3v4 in favor of RIT at the moment. It seems like there's two people on banana. They left bomb near CT. I mean near T spawn, very close to it. This, they they're gonna have to pull something here because I don't I don't I don't know how they're gonna pull this together. Yeah, you know I completely agree with you. They're down eight rounds and RIT. They only need three more to close this one out, and they're looking good in this round. If Saint Clair doesn't win this round, they're almost forced onto another save round, which will put them in such a bad position. You know, because RIT, you win this round, you go up fourteen five. Forces St. Clair almost on a save, or they, they might even have to force just because they're down by so much. But either way, if they lose this round, they're in a terrible position. No, you 100%. If they have to save next round, which they probably will because they don't have much money, and RIT wins it, which is highly likely because it's a save, they're going to be stuck on like a match point every round scenario where they always have to force by. Maxi Cat being able to take out Tyler and Chance. Unicorn just taking out Maxi Cat with Sergeant Tyler taking him with taking out Unicorn. Yeah, 14-5 here. Now, just as I was talking about, if RIT come through with and win that round, which they do, look at what it does to Sinclair. Yes, they will buy AKs, but look at the util. Look at the util. Like, next to nothing. And they're on T side. You need util to break through a site. So now they're pretty much just relying on gun duels. And if you're on the T side, you almost cannot rely on that. It screws them. Look at that. They have no eco there to shut that down. Chance will find one, at least getting a trade, turning things to a 4v4. But RIT, you know, you'd rather be in a 4v4 on the CT side of things, I believe, right? You know, yeah. you, you, you really don't have a whole lot of pushing power right now if you are St. Clair. And you don't really have that util to work with. You know, Abyss and Chance, the only ones to do so. Three flashes and one smoke. And yeah, that's enough to push through a site, but not to hold a site. Of course, 100%. Not enough to hold. The The best thing they're going to have to do is try to push this A site since it's 2-2. Two to two and But the issue is, we've seen what Maxi Cat does. He's... Sorry. He's got 10 more kills than the rest of his team right now. So with Maxicat being on, I'm, a, I'm pretty sure he's on a site at the moment. He's going to be able to take everyone down pretty quickly. That's that's all. Yeah, there's Matt. Oh, never mind. Chance being able to take out Maxicat. That is going to be, that's definitely going to be helpful for them. Chance taking out Legit there with Legit taking out Maz. And that is going to be the site for them. Hopefully they're going to be able to get this plant down before the two come through. Uh, I can't remember what that's called. Through li through uh, almost out of library. Arches, arches, arches yeah. Arches, thank you. Thank through you. arches, and they're gonna be chowling right outside library now. And you know, chances in primary position here to shut this down. And if he can just peek out here, he spots that player. That will find him one kill. And he knows who the other is. They both know that player's on site. Abyss there to get the trade. Good round from Sinclair. That's exactly what you need. Now you got to string some together and build your own momentum. Exactly. The issue is they now they have to pretty much buy every single round. They don't have the option to waste money on anything. They don't have the option. So if they just have to keep buying and buying and hopefully that it works. It seems like though, if like you said, they got one round on, they need to bring up their momentum because we know St. Clair, once they have the momentum and they're hard to stop. Yeah, I agree completely. And you know here, RIT 14-6 in this one, they're so, so close to closing this out where it's almost nearly impossible for St. Clair. It, it's almost impossible. I've seen bigger comebacks than this though. Uh, it, I, I'm I'm still I'm still hoping that St. Clair can pull this back a little bit to make it not so one-sided. It, it seems like they're trying to play things a little slower than usual now. Ooh, Abyss getting fully flashed. 
able to find Spike, though. That was great by him. The 1 HP and a Dream. Hopefully they're able to take out, take out, get that bomb and maybe even go A site. Because the rest of their team is there. They only have one person B site, though. But we know how they've been, how they've been doing on B site. St. Clair hasn't been doing too well on there. Maxi here going to be in pit, ready for the push from them. Ma Maz, though, expecting him. Maxi here taking out Tyler through the smoke. Maz taking out Maxi here with the Sergeant taking out Maz oh and Chance God. and Abyss. Unicorn going to be that plant, and it's going to be a 1v1 at the moment in, flav in favor of RIT because of the health. Yeah, 1v1 here. Unicorn has a slight health disadvantage, but the bomb is down. He does have sight. I, don't, I do not agree with Unicorn sitting here. I don't, I don't trust it. You know, this is a very predictable spot. And if he gets the, Tanner has the complete advantage on this Ooh. gunfight. But Unicorn, able to shut him down, find the head on the Tanners. And don't listen to me, I'm a caster for a reason. So, <laughs> Unicorn, getting him to shut him down there. Now, beautiful plays. Unicorn definitely stepping up, solidifying his spot on this roster. St. Clair, they're able to string a few together. Let's see if they can keep it up. Honestly, as we've seen, St. Clair have been doing very well in that A site, but this time, it seems like RIT is going to be stacking it with pistols only. Spike trying to make an aggressive push, hopefully being like, hey, we got a lot of back, stay back. But Moz is going to be coming out of here. Sergeant is almost going to be getting the pick, is going to be getting the pick. That's going to be one down for St. Clair. Two people oh, waiting no, on that right Tyler. side. Tyler's not going to be expecting this. Tyler, oh, oh no, he's both by one. Yeah, that's at least doable, but he should. Uh, I mean, they can't really expect that either. Maxi Cat gonna get the Galil though. They're gonna tag Unicorn love. They know Maxi Cat's there now. They're gonna throw some Uto. Maxi Cat in a good position here to clean up Chance. He does so, only getting tagged down 26 HP. St. Clair not in a good position here to close this one out. At least they do have the weaponry advantage. They just have to shut down Maxi Cat, who's currently on a 2K. Not gonna be so easy considering St. Clair. They only have about 83 combined health right now. The, yeah, and they have bomb down. Maxi Cat taking out Unicorn and Spike taking out Abyss. That they were close there. They had the they had the advantage, but they RIT was able to predict, yo, they've been doing well on A site. We need to stack A site this time. And it and it paid off, honestly. That they you couldn't ask for anything else from RIT. They all this it's Maxi Cat kind of doing a like Having a lot more kills on his team than the rest of him, top fragging by a decent margin, almost double of the next person. So he's he's been doing well. So it seems like once they su shut out Maxi Cat, they should be able to get a, a site. Yeah, agreed completely. And St. Clair, they're forced to force by here, considering RIT is at the match point marker. And RIT just has such a weaponry advantage here in this match point, where St. Clair just doesn't really have a whole lot to do so. I mean, yes, at this and Maz, they do have the Deagles, and the other two have AKs, where Tyler has the UMP. So, you know, St. Clair, you really just got to try to find some heads with these Deagles. And it really is just such a tall task. Max Cat going to spot Maz there right away, throw the molly, slow down the push. And St. Clair here, they're just going to... They really don't know what to do, considering their weaponry, what they have here. It looks like they want to take this to the A site. You're going to see Unicorn. He's going to be distracting them down the B site. But Abyss, he's going to clean up right off the hop of things. Maw is going to come flying through, trying to find this player. He's going to find one. Tyler at least able to find with the UMP, turning things to a 3v4. AKs and UMPs in the hands of St. Clair. But, you know, that really isn't a whole lot, considering it's a 4v3. And Tanner will clean up Unicorn. Now Tyler's so, so weak. Chance with the AK. Chance going to actually have to go huge here. And he's going to get tagged down right away. And tagged in the head. And that's going to make him down to 38 HP. Such a difficult round here, and RIT is looking to run on this one. Ooh, there goes Maxi Cat with that with that headshot on Tyler. Chance is the last one alive, wondering what he's gonna do. The he, he this is this is sort of game over. There's nothing really much he can do. He just has to get a miracle play, honestly. And there it is, Maxi Cat taking out Chance again as well. RIT Black gonna win the game 16 to 7 over the St. Clair Saints now advancing their record of 3 and 1. Well, St. Clair now going to 2 and 2. St. Clair going to be going up against another 2 and 2 team next Sunday, as this is a Swiss bracket like we touched on. Nonetheless, it looks like they do have to clean up the Inferno play a little bit. You know, they they were looking Pretty decent to kick off the game, you know, leading it for nothing. And then just completely getting shut down after that. And, you know, you really just got to, you know, get in a scrim and say, hey, let's fix some of these issues. We have to lock down the B site a little bit stronger or at least get the T pushes a little bit better as well. I mean, they really just did not have an answer for RIT there. 
And you just got to figure something out going on in this one. Tyler, you know, didn't perform up to like the standards they wanted him to perform up to. And you really just need to get a little bit more help from him throughout that situation. 100%. St. Clair, they did their best. They just couldn't counter RIT. The RIT played so well in every situation. They knew exactly what to do in every situation. They they understood. They understood, hey, St. Clair's doing well on A-Site. Let's start stacking A-Site. And it worked for them. Even on a save round, they worked for them. Honestly, RIT, they, they were just able to shut down St. Clair in almost every scenario. And I have to give them props for it. Yeah. So, face it, Contender League. Now, this should affect St. Clair's ranking pretty like, you know, pretty tough. Like, they were 23rd going into this one, and they probably drop around to, like, the 30 marker now. So, you know, pretty tough if you are St. Clair. They're out of 40 teams. So, you know, it, it is pretty tough for St. Clair. They're looking to bounce back. It's a rough season, you know. Roster changes. It's the first time with this roster, considering the loss of Zapper, Scherze, and Cookie, you know, after last semester. So, Abyss and Moz, you know, like we talked about at the very beginning of the season, they're your veterans, and this is only their second semester under St. Clair. So just tough to work with as it is a very, very new roster. Still having a lot of kinks to run through here. But St. Clair hoping they can get an answer for this next matchup next Sunday. They will actually be playing Tuesday as well in their other league. So stay tuned for that one as well. And now I'm going to give one more quick shout out to our sponsors as we close out the stream. It would not be possible without them. Thank you to the St. Clair College Alumni Association, PC Outlet, the Zeckelman School of Business and Information Technology, St. Clair College, Tim Hortons, and the St. Clair SRC. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is The Prive. I'm joined alongside Joseph. We hope you guys all had a good one, and we'll see you on the next one.